Like I said, after going through the entire elaborate process of getting dressed like this, we finally have with us Nitin, who's going to walk us through what this business is all about and why you sitting at home should be interested. So, Nitin, let's start with what exactly it is that happens out here. So, first of all, thank you. So, what Atero does is, uh, Atero is India's largest electronics asset management company. Part of electronics asset management involves collection of end-of-life and end-of-line devices, both from consumers and OEMs and companies, and then making sure that we extend the life of whatever devices we get, and then sell them back to consumers at a price which is sort of superbly attractive, right? And whatever cannot be refurbished, we have to recycle using environmentally friendly policies and technology that we have patented and developed and extract uh, pure metals out of it, right? Specifically for this particular business unit that uh, Samir is talking about, what we're doing here is making sure that the units that are the uh, mobile phones, laptops, tablets, or what have you, assets that come back to us, how can we refurbish them, test them to an OEM-like quality, deliver it to you at the cheapest price possible so that you're assured of a certain quality, you're assured of a certain price, and that's the best of both the worlds that you can get as a consumer. Um, another thing that happens out here is you actually dismantle the products that yes. come in. Those that are usable are of course reused, refurbished and sold, but there's also something where the product is extracted to its uh, bare nature of the metals and plastics and those are recycled in a very yes. environment friendly way. So can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, so not everything that we collect is refurbishable. Refurbishable and resellable products have a certain uh, criteria that we have to follow and a very stringent quality check. Products that fail that quality check, which is an OEM-like quality check for us, which we'll show around the facility as well, have to go to a recycling unit. So they get dismantled, they go through a shredding machine, which liberates the metals, reduces the size to 2 mm by 2 mm. Post that, they go through a magnetic field where iron gets sucked out. Then the non-ferrous components are passed through an eddy current separator, which basically works on a density difference principle and separates out copper, aluminum and plastic, right? This entire process is completely green in nature, right? Okay without the use of any hazardous chemicals, without the use of any hazardous technologies and so on and so forth. Mm. And uh, we are sort of certified by various agencies and there are multiple patents that you've been awarded and are pending on this particular process globally. Right? So we are the cleanest and the greenest and the most cheapest recycling option available. So just to simplify what you said out there is that if an electronic item comes to you, you absolutely strip it down to the raw metals, be yes. it metals, plastic, copper, any other form of metal that was used is taken out into its raw form Pure and form. then that, what do you do with those materials? We once sell that back in the commodities market. So it's, it's, it's essentially going to be used again to be producing more electronics or, well. or jewellery. So a couple of people who buy from us, for example, Titan buys gold from us. Okay. There are people who buy copper from us who make copper cables, right? Okay. So it goes back into the same form and shape as a mining output would. Okay. Right? Yep. Now, uh, another question that I had is, of course, the consumers that want to sell their gadgets Correct. to you, like you said, the only option for them would be to sell it would be online, which is a second-hand market. Um, so what is your presence? How do you get in touch with customers that want to buy, uh, that want to sell gadgets and how do you acquire them? So we run a platform called aterobay.com, right? On aterobay.com, you can go online, put the model number of your cell phone and other assets that you have. We'll tell you a price based on the parameters that you put on. Very simple, it's a two-step process. And we'll go to your house, pick it up within five hours, and pay you money for that, right? Important thing that you have to keep in mind is, today the world has moved towards that a lot more data is present in digital form, whether it's your cell phone, your laptop, your server, what have you, right? Data security is extremely critical. With the process that we follow here at Atero, we ensure the data security is of paramount interest, okay. right? And anything that comes here is put through a very stringent data, data erasure process, which is a US government DOD standard, uh, which invo involves basically a process where it cannot, the data cannot be retrieved at all. Mm -hmm. Only then the assets are refurbished. Without that particular step, we don't put it through a refurbishing process at all. So when you say that you're refurbishing it to an OEM grade, but the warranty comes from you or the OEM? Warranty in the cases comes from uh, the OEMs where we sort of work with OEM, but in a lot of cases warranty comes from us. So it's a combination of who is sort of the warranty provider, but it's a mix of both those things. Having said that, whether warranty is provided by us or by the OEM, there's no difference in the gadget that you buy as a consumer. It's a black box for you, right? Once the process, when the product is refurbished in a tailor's facility, right, then it is put through a very, very stringent quality check which is the same quality check if you talk about mobile phones, a Samsung new phone goes through, or an Apple new phone goes through, or a Micromax new phone goes through, different levels, right? Yeah. The same process is here. The same equipment is here, the same people are here, the same process is there to ensure that the refurbished phone that you put out in the market, apart from the refurbished word, yeah. 
There's nothing else about it. There's right? nothing else. Yeah. That's, it's absolutely we might as well take out the refurbished word and say it's cheaper. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, that's what refurbished gadgets are Correct. for. Okay. Now, the next question is, of course, the product categories that you're dealing in. So, could you elaborate on what are the product categories that you're willing to purchase and what are the product categories that you're actually selling back to the consumers? So, today, from a purchase perspective online at Atero Bay, we are looking at, uh, we're purchasing mobile phones, tablets, and we're adding all kind of IT goods as well. Laptops, desktops, EFTs, uh, big white goods as well. Uh, when I say big white goods, basically screens, right? Okay. Uh, but we have a strong offline take-back system as well, where from the consumer, we take back washing machines, refrigerators, which need to be recycled, okay. right? not refurbished. Because refurbishing those assets that we take back from the consumer and then selling them with a quality that we are assured of is not possible in our opinion today, okay. right? So we only focus on online take back of mobile phones and IT goods, right? Offline we take back every kind of electronic gadget for recycling. But for refurbishing online, these are two options available. Right. Um, one more, the last question that I had is why are we dressed like this? Why were we asked to remove our shoes and demagnetize ourselves at the entrance? Could you just elaborate Definitely. on that and exactly what is there that the viewers have been watching behind us? This entire process that's happening. Just a little highlight on this. Definitely. So basically this facility that you see is uh, an electrostatic protected facility. What that means is because we handle electronics here and this is uh, as, a, as an example if you walk into a, uh, let's say Intel's fabs right, or AMD's fabs where they actually manufacture chipsets you'll have to do both the same process right? because the electronic components, the chipsets, the ICs, the transistors are very sensitive to the uh, static discharge that's on our body. right? Oh, I'm sure you must have touched a car or touched somebody else and got a current immediately. Yeah. That static discharge can actually destroy small electronic components. Right? So any good facility which act actually manufactures electronic components or into high-end repairs of the same has to ensure that static charge is taken care of. Right? Yeah. The magnetic stuff that you went through it discharges your entire body and makes sure there's no electrostatic current on your body. Right? Mm -hmm. This floor that you're standing on, if you strip it this apart, you'll see a copper layer, actual copper going through it. And that copper ensures earthing. Or I think we do at our home also, but this is like 10 times heavier than that, right? Yeah. This particular thing ensures that there is a uh, there is a contact that is diminished, right? And again, all to make sure that electrostatic discharge cannot affect the component that you're working with, right? Wow, so there you have it. Now you know exactly what's going to happen to your smartphone or tablet if you sell it to someone like Otero. And the process that happens out here, I'm telling you with experience, it is absolutely brilliant. I have seen parts and components of smartphones that I didn't even know existed. So next time you're selling a gadget to second-hand market, you may want to consider a refurbished gadget to be purchased as well in its place. Well, while I continue to check out the process at which gadgets are refurbished, why don't